quick. We gotta find some place there and blow it. Mine are right at the lip. I don't, I don't know if it's up in the cab. Yeah, no, leaks of under my engine or transmission. Right. At the top of my cab, I have five securely mounted amber and color clean clear clearance lights. Garden. Function properly, serve as clearance only, no damages. At the front of my cab, I have two amber marker lights. Securely mounted, clean and clear, function properly, serve as signal hazard and running, no damages. I also have two securely mounted clean and clear headlights. Clean and clear, function properly, serve as high beam and low beam. No damage. And you know, all the good. Come over to the passenger side. There are no leaks or puddles underneath my engine or my transmission. This is my coolant tank reservoir. It is securely mounted. It's not leaking. To check the fluid levels, I look between the ad and the fill, no damages. These are my hoses and my couplings. My hoses are securely mounted, not cut, crack, frayed, or worn, not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. Right here is my belt-driven water pump. It is securely mounted, it's not leaking. My belt is not cut, crack, frayed, it's evenly worn, and I should not get more than three-quarter inch play at the center, no damage. Now you're going to walk around this way. There are no leaks or puddles underneath my engine or my transmission. This is my power steering fluid. It is securely mounted. It's not leaking to check fluid levels. I look between the ad and the field. No damage. These are my hoses and my couplings. My hoses are securely mounted, not cut, cut, frayed, or worn, not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. This is my belt-driven alternator. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bending, cracked, or broken. My belt is not cut, crack, frayed. It's evenly worn, and I should not get no more than three-quarter inch play at the center. No damage. And I'm going to come over here. This is my oil dipstick. It is securely mounted. It's not bending, cracked, or broken. It's not leaking. To check it out, I'd pull it out, wipe it off, insert it, pull it out, check a level between the ad and the fill. No damage. Over here, what you cannot see is my gear-driven air compressor. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bent, any cracked or broken. It's not leaking, and there's no damage. This is my steering linkage, my pick'em arm, and my drag link. My steering linkage is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bent, any cracked or broken. My couplings are free to debris, no damage. My pick'em arm is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, or car key, not bent, any cracked or broken. No damage. This is my drag link. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked, or broken. And my ball joints are tight at the socket, no damage. This is my steering gearbox, hoses, and couplings. My steering gearbox is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked, or broken. It's not leaking, no damage. My hoses are securely mounted, not cut, crack, frayed, or worn, not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. Now you're going to go into what I call the suspension system. This is my leaf spring hanger and mount. My leaf spring hanger is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken, no damage. My bushing is securely mounted, not cut, cut, frayed, or worn, not leaking, no damage. This is my leaf springs. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken, none are missing, shifted, or loose, no damage. These are my U bolts. They are securely mounted to the axle. They are not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. If any were missing or loose, I'd tell by a shiny thread or rust trail. No damage. This is my shock absorber. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. It's not leaking. No damage. This is my brake chamber, clamps, hoses, couplings, and slack adjuster. My brake chamber is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. It's not leaking. No damage. My hose are securely mounted, not cut, crack, frayed, or worn, not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. My clamps, none are missing or loose, no damage. This is my slack adjuster. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, or card keys. Not bending, cracked, or broken. And with the brakes not applied, I should not be able to pull more than one inch to push rod. No damage. My brake drum, my brake drum lining. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked, or broken. 
My drum has no illegal holes or broken welds. My brake lining is not worn dangerously thin and there is no oil grease or debris between the lining and the drum, no damage. This is my steer tire. It is securely mounted. It's evenly worn. My tread depth should not be less than 430 seconds. There are no rip soles, cuts, or bulges. It is not leaky. It's properly inflated. To check for proper inflation, I'd use a tire gauge at the valve stem. No damage. My valve stem is securely mounted. It's not bending, cracked, or broken. It's not leaking, no damage. My cap is tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. This is my rim. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts or fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. There are no illegal holes or welds. There is no damage. These are my lug nuts. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts or fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. None are missing or loose. If they were, I would tell by a shiny thread or a rust trail. My lug nut holes on my lug nuts are not distorted, no damage. This is my hub oil seal. It is securely mounted. It's not leaking. If it was equipped with a sight glass, I'd check the level between the head and the fill, no damages. My door hinges and my door. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bent in, cracked or broken. My door opens and closes freely, no damage. This is a fire extinguisher I told you about earlier. This is my door weather stripping. It is securely mounted, not cut, 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 or worn, not leaking, no damage. My mirrors and brackets, they are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bent in, cracked or broken. My mirrors are clean and clear. They've been adjusted properly for me from the inside, no damage. This is my side tractor light. I have two securely mounted, amber colored, clean and clear, functioning properly, service signal has been running, no damages. These are my tractor steps. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. There is no oil grease or debris, no damage. This is my fuel tank, hoses, couplings, and lid, or cap. My fuel tank is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. It's not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not cut, cut, afraid of war, not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. My cap is tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. This is the side compartment where I contain my three red reflective triangles for emergency pullovers and spare electric fuses. Over here, this is my exhaust. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bending, cracked, or broken. There is no excessive rust or holes for carbon monoxide or soot to leak through, no damage. This is my tractor frame and cross members. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bending, cracked, or broken. There are no illegal holes or broken welds. There is no damage. This is my drive shaft and my couplings. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bent and cracked or broken. My couplings are free of debris, no damage. This is my catwalk. It is securely mounted to the frame. It is not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bent and cracked or broken. There is no oil, grease, or debris. There is no damage. These are my lines. This is green line is my electric. These are my pigtails. My electric line is securely mounted, not cut, cut, frayed, or worn. It's not chafed or spliced, and my pigtails are in the locked position, no damage. These are my air lines. Red is for emergency, blue is for service. Hoses and couplings. My hoses are securely mounted. They're not cut, cut, frayed, or worn. They're not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. These are my glad hands. They are securely mounted. Not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bent and cracked or broken. They are not leaking and they are in the latched position. Sorry. No damage. My air lines and electric line are suspended above my catwalk. No damage. Right here I have my front crossover torsion bar. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bent and cracked or broken. No damage. This is my header board. My header board is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, or rivet. There are no rip soles, cuts, or bulges that can support my cargo, no damage. At the top of my trailer, I have two amber marker lights, securely mounted, clean and clear, functioning properly, serve as clearance only. Now, this is where I would come under here, and you have to crawl underneath your trailer, tractor, which I'm not going to do. And you're going to start with your suspension, okay? 
So, my leaf spring hanger and mount. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked, or broken, no damage. My bushing is securely mounted, not cut, cracked, frayed, or worn. Lit, not leaking, no damage. My leaf springs are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked, or broken, none are shifted, missing, or loose, no damage. My U bolts, they are securely mounted to the axle. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked, or broken. And if any were missing or loose, I would tell by a shiny thread or a rust drill. My shock absorbers are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken, not leaking, no damage. These are my top and bottom airbag mounts. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. They're not leaking, no damage. This is my airbag. It is securely mounted. It is not cut, cracked, frayed, or worn, not leaking, no damage. Then you're going to go to your brake system again. My brake chamber clamps, hoses, couplings, slack adjuster. Okay, my brake chamber is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not being any cracked or broken, it's not leaking. My clamps, none are missing or loose, no damage. My hoses are securely mounted, not cut, crooked, frayed, or worn, not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. My slack adjusters are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, Carter key. Not bending, cracked or broken. With the brakes not applied, I should not be able to pull no more than one inch play at the push rod. No damage. My brake drum is securely mounted. And my brake lining, they are securely mounted. Not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener. Not bending, cracked or broken. My drum does not have any legal holes or welds. Broken welds, no damage. My uh, brake lining is not worn dangerously thin and there is no oil, grease or debris between the lining and my drum. No damage. Now while I'm under here, I'm going to come out. This is my rear crossover torsion bar. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken, no damage. These are my tractor tail lights. I have two securely mounted, red, clean and clear, functioning properly, serve as signal hazard running and brake, no damage. I also have two securely mounted, clean and clear, reverse lights, functioning properly, serve as reverse only, no damages. Now, I'm gonna come here. This is my bud wheel. It is securely mounted. It's evenly spaced. There is no excessive rust or debris, no damages. This is my drive tire. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fast, or, or not cut, crack, frayed, or worn. It's evenly worn, should not have anything less than two thirty-second tread depth. There are no rips, holes, cuts, or bulges. It is not leaking. To check for proper inflation, I would use a tire gauge at the valve stem. No damage. My valve stem is securely mounted, not bent, and cracked, and broken. It's not leaking. No damage. My cap is tight, secure, not leaking. No damage. My rim is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bent, and cracked, or broken. There are no illegal holes or wells. No damage. These are my lug nuts. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bent, and cracked, or broken. None are missing or loose. If they were, I would tell by a shiny thread or a rust trail. My lug nut holes and my lug nuts are not distorted. No damages. These are my hub oil seal. It is securely mounted. It's not leaking. If it was clipped with a sight glass, I'd check the level between that and the fill. No damages. Once you finish all this, now you're going to start on your fifth wheel. This is my apron. My apron is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bending, cracked, or broken, and then there is no gaps between my apron and my skid plate, no damage. My skid plate is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bending, cracked, or broken, and it's properly greased, no damage. This is my sliding mechanism, hose, and coupling. My sliding mechanism is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bending, cracked, or broken, it's not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and sc are securely mounted, not cut, cracked, frayed, and worn. Not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure. Not leaking, no damage. Now I'm going to come over here. These are my locking pins. They are securely mounted. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners. They're not bending, cracked, or broken. And they are in the locked position. There is no damages. My fifth wheel is positioned so that during turns it does not interfere with my landing gear. This is my... Fifth wheel release handle and safety latch. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, or carter key, not bending, cracked, or broken, and it is in the locked position, no damages. This is my platform pivot pin and mount. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken, or missing a carter key. 
My mount supports my platform and skid plate, no damages. These are my mounting bolts. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bending, cracked, or broken. If any were missing or loose, I would tell by a shiny thread or a rust trail, no damage. Now you're going to crawl under the trailer one more time. This is my kingpin and locking jaw. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. My locking jaw is in the lock position around my kingpin. There are no damages. You're going to swivel around. This is my trailer cross members. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. There are no legal holes or broken welds. It can support my cargo, no damage. My trailer floor is securely mounted. There are no rips, holes, cuts, or bulges. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. It can support my cargo, no damage. This is my landing gear. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. My legs are in the fully raised position and my handles in the lock position, no damage. This is my tractor mud flat mount, mud flat DOT tape. My mount is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not bent, any cracked, broken, no damage. My DOT tape is securely mounted, red and clear in color, no damages. My mud flap is securely mounted, not cut, crack, frayed, or worn, no damages. When you come out here, you're going to turn around. This is my trailer frame. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, rivets, not bent, any cracked, or broken. There are no illegal holes or broken wells, no damage. It can support my cargo. This is my DOT tape. It is securely mounted, red and clear in color, no damages. This is my trailer sidewall. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, or rivets, no cuts, rips, holes, or bulges. It can support my cargo, no damages. I have two amber marker lights. Securely mounted, clean and clear, functioning properly, signal hazard running, no damages. Down here, I have two. Secure mounted, red marker lights, clean and clear, functioning properly, serve as running only. This is my mud flap mount. It is secure mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked, or broken. No damage. My mud flap is secure mounted, not cut, cut, trade, or worn. No damages. Now, you get to right here. Before you crawl under there, you're going to say, My trailer is not equipped with airbags. When you crawl under, First thing you're going to hit, this is my tandem release sandal, locking pins, hoses, and couplings. My release sandal and locking pins, they are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, or carter key, not bending, cracked, or broken. My locking pins are in the lock position, no damage. My hoses, they are securely mounted, not cut, cut, frayed, or worn, not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight and secure, not leaking, no damage. Now, the one thing you're not going to have on this axle, because you do not have airbags, is a shock absorber. So instead of a shock absorber, you're going to have a torque rod. So we're going to do our suspension. This is my leaf spring hanger and mount. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fasteners, not bending, cracked, or broken. No damage. This is my bushing. It's securely mounted, not missing any nuts, or not cut, cracked, frayed, or worn. Not leaking no damage. This is my torque rod. It is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked or broken, no damages. My leaf spring it is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked or broken, none are missing, shifted or loose, no damage. My U bolts, they are securely mounted to the axle. They are not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not bending, cracked or broken. If any were missing or loose, I'd tell by a shiny thread or a rust trail, there is no damage. Now, these are my brake chambers. These are my clamps hoses and couplings and slack adjusters on the back side. Alright, so my brake chamber is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not being any cracked or broken. It's not leaking, no damage. My clamps, none are missing or loose, no damage. My hoses are securely mounted, not cut, cut, frayed, more, not leaking, no damage. My couplings are tight, secure, not leaking, no damage. My brake drum and my lining, they are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastener, not being any cracked or broken. My brake drum is not having any illegal holes or wells. My brake lining is not worn dangerously thin, and there is no oil, grease, or debris between the lining and the drum. No damage. This is my bud wheel. It is securely mounted. It's evenly spaced. There's no excessive rust, and there is no debris. No damage. 
is my trailer tire. It is securely mounted. It's evenly worn. Should not have anything less than 230 seconds tread depth. There's no rip soles, cuts, or bulges. It's not leaking. It's properly inflated. To check for proper inflation, I'd use a tire gauge to valve stem. No damage. My valve stem is securely mounted. It's not bending, cracked, or broken. It's not leaking. No damage. My cap is tight and secure. Not leaking. No damage. My rim is securely mounted. Not missing any nuts, bolts, fastening. Not bending, cracked, or broken. There are no illegal holes or illegal welds. No damage. My lug nuts, they are securely mounted. Not missing any nuts, bolts, fastening. Not bending, cracked, or broken. None of them missing or loose. If they were, I would tell by shiny thread or a rust trail. My lug nut holes or my lug nuts are not distorted, no damages. This is my hub oil cell. It is securely mounted. It's not leaking. If it was equipped with a sight glass, I'd check the level between the and the full. No damages. Now you come to the back. <laughs> These are my door hinges and my door. They are securely mounted, not missing nuts, bolts, fastening, not being cracked or broken. In my door, there's no rips, on cuts, and bulges that can support my cargo. There is no damage. This is my door weather stripping. It is securely mounted. It's not cut, cut, frayed, or worn. It's not leaking, no damage. This is my DOT tape. It is securely mounted, red and clear in color, no damages. This is my door latch, or door handle, safety latch, and locking jaws. They are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, fastened, not being in cracked or broken, and the locking jaws in the locked position, no damage. Then you're going to stand back here, think, what did I miss? Oh, I missed something. Ha <laughs> ha, and then you come back. All right, so I have four securely mounted, red and clear, tail lights, trailer tail lights, functioning properly, serve as signal hazard running and brake, no damage. I also have Three, securely mounted, red, clean and clear, functioning properly, marker light, or running only, no damage. Okay, so you've got that now. You come back and you go, this concludes my pre-trip inspection. Okay. you got 45 minutes to do all this. So you got to call all those parts. The outside in 21. Hi. <laughs>